Hi, Elena. How are you? Laura, nice to meet you. Thanks for taking the time. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. So I love your outfit. I love the sticker. Tell me all about it. Oh my gosh. Well, I, you're a lady that appreciates a good sticker. We were just talking about sticker collections. And this is actually a badge. I collect badges and pins literally from everywhere I go. And they all like, they have like, I, I have pictures. I have to show you. Um, yes. But I, this, my mom, well, I say I commissioned the union. That's my line. But my mom is a fashion illustrator and we were celebrating because it was coming out and she made a DIY pin badge. And I was like, whoa, I'm, I'm my artistic, um, proclivities I think are, are only in like the acting sphere not so much the crafts even though I love a good sticker session but um, yes. I'm glad you like it you like this I love it so much okay so we're here to talk about Chloe I love the way you portrayed her I didn't know whether I wanted to hug her or protect her or be scared of her or just worship her or like ask to borrow her clothes because they were all amazing you're channeling some Chloe vibes right now about that choker business I'm I here am. for it clap <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your favorite moments playing Chloe. Well, I love that you have all these like mixed feelings for her, like, oh, I'm going with this, because she is such a complex character. She is not one thing, which was one thing, which was so fun to play because she's not just angst. She has so much heart and, and strength. She's an independent spirit, you know, but she's just trying to feel comfortable and confident and happy in her own skin with all this pressure swirling around her. You know, she's in the modeling influencer world. She doesn't want to be part of the union. She doesn't want to sell out and put on this persona of perfection, which it's not lost on her that she's doing that in the modeling world. So it's like, she feels she's selling out on all ends she's not in a good place she's kind of spiraling out of control which we particularly see in episode four but um you know she's but she's full of so much heart and it all comes from a place of pain of her going to you know she's turning to drugs and alcohol and all these things to try and numb the sadness she feels towards not feeling uh, she's she's like feels like an outcast of the family um so and it, it's it's yeah she's got so much she's so lonely but she's also so she's so strong too and and she's just I, she's a joy to play especially from reading the, the comics and seeing where she goes and I'm, I, I'm glad to hear she hopefully resonated with you and everyone <laughs> yes for sure um so as you're saying I really felt like her trauma and her grief and her hurt from her family and being rejected by her father and giving lessons by her father that she just it was awful, her upbringing. So what was it like working with Josh Jamel, Leslie Bibb, and also Andrew Horton and establishing that history? Well, just as a side note before I get into like the deep stuff, Silver Fox, um, <laughs> gosh, he's like a Zeus sculpture. And the whole time we're shooting, like we we're shooting there, I think for like seven, eight months. And my mom called me up. She's in New Jersey. We're shooting in Toronto. Hey, Toronto. And she called me up. She's, and I'm like, mom, are you going to check in on me? Like, how are you, like, how are you doing, Elena? And it's like, how is Josh? Get a picture with him. Tell me, tell him I love him. How does he look like in person? And I'm like, I had to even tell my mom the biggest crush on you. So, you know, he, but he, loved, he was a great leader of our, of our cast you know Leslie is so lovely too is my mom Andrew there's such a you know he plays my brother and there's such a dynamic going on here with the characters and, and what I felt was such a support and a chemistry with them that hopefully shows on screen because you know a big part of it is like Chloe's growing up with her brother and he's the only person she can really connect and relate to because they're in the same boat of having absentee parents that are prioritizing saving the world over the deteriorating relationship with the kids and like being parents of children. But then they drift apart, they drift apart because he's, be in her eyes, he's becoming like this drone trying to like just live up and, and keep up with the dad's expectations that are just unobtainable. And she's like, bro, stop it because you're gonna, we're already damaged and you're in denial of that. And I'm owning it. I'm not bottling it up. I'm, I'm an open book, even though the way she's handling it isn't great and isn't healthy. But she's like, if you don't, if you keep bottling up the, the pain that you, you've experienced and the trauma and the grief, you're gonna, it's gonna be a Krakatoa situation here. So she's trying to warn him. Um, and there's just like the dysfunction of the family is what I think makes this so relatable because you've got the superhero elements, but it's like, even if you can't fly or super strength, if you're not in the royal family of superheroes, we all have these it, human issues that makes it so real. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And then tell me about working with Ian Quinlan, who plays Hutch, who, if you read the books, you know that they become very close and he's her future, but... <laughs> well, hashtag clutch. I, I'm all about it. I hope you ship them. You ship them, Leora. I do, I do, I do. Yeah, how much have you seen of the show? I didn't get to... All of it, all of it. I binge-watched it all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, 
you know, I hope you enjoyed it. The clutch thing is a real, like we have a journey and Ian Quinlan, I mean, the second we met, like it was, a chem- I'll t- you want me to tell you the chemistry read story? Yes, it's a yes. One. Tell me okay. Then. So there's a protocol <laughs> with chemistry reads where it's kind of an unspoken folk and thing where if you have a scene where it's a saucy scene and there's guessing going on, you don't do it. Like you, you just kind of like, it's a beat, but you don't do it. Mm. Um, this, so I was called and we were training a month before shooting. They're like, come and meet some hutches. It's chemistry read. Oh, shoot. This is a big moment. And I meet Ian. And the second I met him, he had this charisma. And we started reading the scene together. And it was a saucy one. And I just felt such an electricity and a fire from him. I was like, oh, goodness, the pheromones are going. But in this scene, he just out of nowhere kisses me, right? And I was taken by surprise. Everybody in the room <gasps> gasps. And then we, we did the scene and it was I mean, it was, I, I felt like the spark, okay? But then the scene cut and he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I realized I should have asked you. I'm, I'm, are you okay? Like he was felt so bad. It was so, I'm like, don't, I mean, <laughs> you're apologizing, but I am not sorry about that. And I just like, there was just this, this thing where he, he just brings such an energy to the scenes that hopefully people will, will be on, you know, along for the ride with this relationship because it's fiery. They butt heads one second, but it's quite primal. We're ripping each other's clothes off the neck. Oh my goodness. Um, but he's just he's he's it's so fun to do these scenes with him. And we definitely have a journey in this the comic books. And hopefully if we go into a season two, it'll get even more juicy. <laughs> <laughs> so have you heard anything about season two? Leora, it is it's all we don't know. It's in the ether. It's up to hopefully people watch the show, hopefully people like the show, and hopefully we'll be back with more. I mean, fingers crossed. I'm I you know, I'm, I'm glad to hear you watch the whole thing and you you like the relationships. Yeah. Because I do think this is a unique superhero. Like it's a, like, yes, there's a lot of superhero stuff out there, but this one's unique in the sense that like the superhero aspect is fun and exciting, but it's almost a sideshow to the family drama. People are even comparing it to This Is Us, which I think that's a cool connection. Um, You know, it's got something for everyone, I think. I don't know. It does, it does. I totally think so. So the show is about parents and children and then what codes and values they pass on to the next generation. And you've played, of course, the daughter of Josh Jamel and Leslie Bibb. But you've also played the daughter of Mia Vardalos, J.K. Simmons. Huh. You held your own against um, Liam Schreiber, Janet McTeer on Broadway. Kudos. <laughs> um, so you who, know you who have you liked working with and who would you like to work with again? Oh my gosh, Leora, you like, okay, every project, I mean, I'm working with people I've admired growing up and watching movies. It's really, and I still, I, I'm not good with the starstruck thing. I don't keep my act together. I, I talk even faster than I talk now. It's a problem. Um, <laughs> But you know, like Nia playing my mom, I grew up watching. I mean, we're a big Greek family. So that we wore out that VHS or in a DVD um and like literally like it's crazy to now say I'm a Porta Carlos and Nia's lovely that whole family like they welcomed me and I was a newbie on that set we shot that in Toronto came back to shoot Toronto for Jupiter um so that is so nostalgic for me and that's like the pinnacle for my my family like they, they love that and, and everyone so sweet you know and then you know Broadway was such a thing for teaching me like like the tr- like the real discipline like I had never set foot on a stage my entire life I think I maybe well maybe I played a shrub in something when I was a kid but I had never like I didn't know the protocol of like stage so I really learned like the true you know working on a play Janet McTeer too was Liv and Janet like they taught me so much these are veterans of the stage and I truly fell in love with theater because that's a totally different thing you know take with film you do the takes over and over again it can get static but luckily you have creatives and actors who, who help find like we find things together but with stage it is a completely unique performance every single time and it's shared with the audience it's beautiful because it's not recorded and it's the the things the magic that happens in that one performance will never be duplicated and it's just shared intimately with the, the space the audience people watching they are a scene partner with you it's just but I learned so much in all of these things like in, you know sacred lives is a fun like every every project you learn something and take it with you and I just hope to keep learning more as we go along <laughs> <laughs> I love it so finally what have you been watching well um okay so my mom and I we love like our thing is we because I was away shooting I was shooting a horror movie Stephen King Children of the Corn in Ooh. Australia for a, a year and then another project but that one's on hold because 
the highest COVID and all that. Um, but that's a sci-fi samurai movie. But the core, like the horror was fun because my mom and I are obsessed with horror movies. And now that we're I'm back home, we're making up for lost time watching horrors every night. Uh, we we just saw Un Unsane with Claire Foy was disturbingly awesome. Like it was, I don't know yeah. if you've seen that one. It no, I want to. I want we to. We love like intense horror movies. So we watched that. We've been, we watched, and then the total opposite, Durrells and Corfu. Keely Hawes, like it's it's a beautiful um, masterpiece. It was a PBS masterpiece, I think, and it was set. They shot it in Corfu, so the Greek side of it, we couldn't help it. <laughs> it's such a beautiful, wholesome, like full of so much love. You can tell was put into that. Um, so we watched that Black Books, Dylan Moran. That's a bit of a throwback. Uh, Tom Thompson, Greg, love that show. Oh, uh, I could go on. We'll watch it. What about you? Like, what what have you been seeing? Jupiter's Legacy. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm here for it. <laughs> was there any, like, what were your favorite parts? Like, was there a particular scene? Was there an episode? Like, shit, what, what, oh what stood gosh. out? What stood out? I like how they drew out like the mystery, like the backstory. I like how that was like normally in any other superhero show, like that would be one episode. And this one, like it was drawn out. And then no spoilers, but I love Ben Daniels. So oh good. My. I'm okay. sorry, but the psychic constructs, like I've never, when I read that in the comic that hit brainwave, his character does his power psychic constructs. Like we're talking in a conversation and if you're, if he's making a, a psychic painting, we're actually something else has happened. We could be in a battle right now. We're unaware because we're in a psychic thing. That power is so cool. And that's what I think is awesome about Jupiter is like, you're seeing superheroes in a totally different way. Powers we've never really even seen explore before. Like what Mark has dreamt up is so cool. And I, I, Ben Daniels is so lovely and he's mongto. There's a lot that happens with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say, I'm like, well, I liked that scene and <laughs> a lot of twists. Like, even if you've read the books, I feel like there's stuff that you won't see coming. Like, Look, I don't know. Are you a comic book gal? Leora? Are you I was when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. I was. And then I like straight away and now I'm trying to go back into it. So like, yes, yeah, so I was reading all about this one and I'm like, oh, wow. So that's what happens to that character. And that's what happens to that character. Oh my God. And You're now I want more. Like a few things about comics because I'm not an expert in this zone, but I did grow up loving Mark's movies. But when I first read this one, oh, it's so cool. And I'm, I'm glad to hear like, like, I feel like you can be a, like a comic book person or not and still like the show do you know what I mean get yeah, into it Hopefully. yeah There's something in it yeah. for everybody you know, yeah and it's very great. cinematic mm. yeah visual Which I loved yeah, yeah yeah so what did you love what were your favorite scenes oh my gosh well viewer. I love the clutch scenes I keep saying the clutch scenes <laughs> it's so fun but then I also loved um there's that one the bagel scene with Josh I love that. That was an audition scene. Nobody and ate I, the bagels. Can I just say that bugged me? Nobody ate the bagels. They were just sitting there and he toasted them and it just sat there. And I'm like, at least take one bite. Like at Why least Leslie you? Bibb, she ate one bite of the sandwich in the other yes. scene. I'm like, okay, at least she bought and she ate a bit of the sandwich. But no, he no, no, toasted actually. and like, they just sat there. Well, you guys were talking. It was a, like a hard conversation, but like, why like, wasn't anyone eating? Yes. Yeah. We, there was a take as I have this visual like printed in my memory oh Josh he's so he is truly such a sweet sweet person and I felt like <laughs> there was such a like I could feel so much from him in that scene but he did actually eat that bagel I guess they didn't use that 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 part no, in no. the bagel and I think it was because it got distracting because cream cheese got stuck in the beard <laughs> like and then the whole take there was like a thing of cream cheese and I mean heck he put cream cheese on man he still looks good but it was like the, the cream cheese was talking to me in the scene and um I, it, and it got stuck it was messy so he actually he went for it I I didn't go for it because you know yeah Ian you gotta shoot thinking, the carbs yeah yeah Forget Ian's it. like that's Chloe's yeah. kryptonite the gluten man you know <laughs> But it's a fun scene because I mean, it, on the on the on the deep level, like it's it talks about how they just can't communicate. You know that yeah. she's not built like her father. Like they're speaking to one another, but no one's really listening. And she's kind of realizing at the end how futile this is. Like I've lost my dad. That's how she sees it, at least. Like wow, this is a lost cause. Like I'm just yeah. oh, lonely and 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 just outcast forever. Like they just don't get it. I'm just, she's trying to keep it real, and and she's almost like too human for him, and he's almost too much of a symbol of perfection for her. You know, perfect to everybody, but her instead of being her own father 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I love that you drank the wine. You actually drank the wine. Of the, I'm sure there was no wine in there from that the dinner tea. party scene. Yeah. That was some tea. I love, I'm a tea Ooh. devotee. What about, are you a coffee person or tea? I'm a coffee Laura? person. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, I like <laughs> coffee all the way. Oh. I like tea, but like coffee, three three a day. Oh. I, vanilla latte, you know. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, you know, it was, we can say whatever it was for Chloe. Yeah. Maybe it would be wine or something in the mug, but that was what it really was. It was, it was, it was tea. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so, so much for your time, Elena. You're delightful. I love the show. I loved you on the show. This was great. This was Leora, so great. Thank you're you. so sweet. You have such a lovely energy and I, I'm, I'm, I hope we'll get to meet in person one day. Yes. And I can see that sticker collection. Um, because that yeah, sounds my cool. albums. Yeah. Yeah, and how about this too. we get a screenshot okay i like to get pictures with when we do interviews if i remember you know and maybe when we meet one day you can sign it for me yeah yeah when you do jupiter's legacy season two because there oh has my... to be a season two yeah i hope so hope everybody watches i hope everybody enjoys it and let's say brief take uh I, i'm as i take ready one two, <laughs> brief take, brief take. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I love this. Thank you so, so much. Good luck Thank with everything. You, Keep on being you. Oh, you Thank too. You. Thanks so much. <laughs> and have a great rest of your day.